Now things get really bad when thugs around the house. They don't even want the girl. They are so depraved, they want the guy, the Levite. But he kicks her out. So, so she gets the abuse that he was supposed to get. And she gets abused all night in such a horrible way. But, but then you notice something totally amazing. The girl is crawling, and she's crawling to the house. Like, what? You know, there's a, this Korean expression. You know, we have an expression that says, you don't even pee in that direction. You know, you're so disgusted with that. You don't even pee in that direction. You'll have nothing to do with that. that this would be a perfect description of what she ought to be feeling. But no, she's crawling back. Why? She's drumming up her last remaining strength to go back to her husband who betrayed her. Is it possible that she was able to forgive her husband through it all? Is, it, is that even possible? Is that why she's crawling back? You know, I've always wondered about this story. Where is the gospel? Then one morning, when I was taking a shower, I clearly saw this woman just crawling to the house in my mind's eye. I just saw it very clearly. It was not a vision, it was in my mind's eye. And then I also saw the cross of Jesus Christ overlapping her. Man, I just totally broke down in the shower. I saw the abuse that was hipped on Jesus Christ on the cross. I saw him drumming up his last remaining strength to hang in there on the cross so that he can reach out to me in forgiveness of my sins.